Contour Scanning and Edge Module are two very useful features available on Duramin 40, Duramin 100 and Duramin 650 hardness testers. This tutorial will show you how to use them step by step. First, we create a new job by clicking on the plus button. We give it a name and select an objective. All these fields can be edited at any time by clicking on the E button. Then we choose a testing method and a load. In this case we choose Vickers 500 gram force. In order to speed up the process when using the contour scanning function, it's important to select the smallest magnification lens available in the turret, in this case 2.5 times. Next we adjust the focus. Once the image is clear, press on the In Focus blinking button. Now we can look at the full sample by using the overview camera. Our goal is to measure the hardness of the sample along the profile at a constant distance from the edge. As example for this test, we would like to analyze only the inner profile of the sample from this corner and into the middle here and out to this corner. So let's see how to do that. First, we move back to objective camera with 2.5 magnification. Then we go to the test pattern section and choose Edge Module. By clicking on Scan, we will access the contour scanning options. Here we can choose to scan only a part of the sample by selecting start and end point or to scan the whole contour by checking the box begin is end. In this case we want to start from here and end over here. Remember to select the correct scanning direction, in this case clockwise. Now we can press on start. Once the scanning is complete, a contour line will appear in the Pattern Editor. We can now design our indentation pattern by choosing Edge Offset, Distance to Edge, in this case 300 micron, and Distance between points, in this case 2 mm. We can see that the pattern contains 27 indents. Now our pattern is ready. We save all the changes in the pattern and we click OK to exit the pattern settings. There is one last thing we want to do before starting the test. We should check that the lens selected for indent measurement, in this case 50 times, is perfectly in focus. This will speed up the testing process. We are now ready and we click on Start. After the machine has measured all 27 indents, we will now see a chart in the lower side of the screen showing the results for each indent. To take a closer look at the results, go to the upper left corner and click on Results. We can create a report by clicking on Report and Print. By doing this we will not actually send the report to a printer but only generate a report with results from the test. Click on Export and choose either PDF or Excel and click OK. If we want to archive the results inside the software, we click on Archive, give it a name and click OK. And we're done!